my god. Oh my god, guys, welcome to today's video in which we're going to be learning how to identify if a relation is a function or not using arrow diagrams. We're going to be taking a look at some examples and we're going to be taking a look at two basic definitions. So what is a relation? What is a function? And what actually tells us if a function is really a function? Okay, guys, so let's begin. So guys, as I was telling you, the first thing we're going to be taking a look at is the definition of a relation. So a relation is basically any set of ordered pairs. So what does that mean, guys? So basically, if we have values of x and values of y, it doesn't really matter what values of x and what values of y we have. If we have values for x and y in sets or pairs, we say or we can say that this is going to be a relation. So basically, any set of ordered pairs is a relation. So guys, with that into account, the question rises. How do I know if a set of ordered pairs, so a relation, is actually a function? We have to take a look at the definition of a function. So a function, we know that a relation is a function when each input or each value of x is assigned exactly one output or one value of y. We have to remember that x is going to be our independent variable and that y is going to be our dependent variable. Most people forget that, so you have to know, take that into account. Also, you have to remember that the definition says that a relation is a function with, when each input or value of x is assigned exactly one output. That means that we can just have one value, one specific value of y for each and every one of the x's. If we have two values of x, that means that we are not talking about a function, right? So again, guys, that means that in an arrow diagram, which we're going to be seeing, there should be no repeated values for x, right? Now, let's tackle a problem, guys. So guys, here we have the following example. And we can see that this is a set of order pairs. So we have minus 1 gives us a value of 10. 3 gives us a value of 61, 6 also gives us a value of 61, and 10 gives us a value of 92. So this is in fact a relation because it's a set of order pairs. But now we have to think, is this a function or not, right? So something that can really help you guys to see if this is actually a function is actually write down all the points of that graph or all that uh, set of data. So you have x comma y so we're going to write them down so minus 1 10 is 1 3 comma 61 is the other one 6 comma 61 and then we have we have 10 comma 92 as you guys can see there is no repeated value for x and each value of x has its output or y so that means that this is indeed a function right? There are no repeated values for x. Now, let's take a look at another problem, right? So, again, we have to see if this is a relation. This is a relation because we have sets of pairs of data. We have, for minus 5, we have 19. For 4, we have 19. For 4, we also have 38. For 5.5, we have 61. For 10, we have both 38, and for 10, we also have 92. So we have pairs, right? So in this case, we're also talking about a relation. Now, we have to ask ourselves whether it's a function or not, right? So we have to do the same thing. We write down x and y, and we have to see if there are repeated values for, for x, right? So in this case, at a glance, we, we have 5, and 5 has one value, of y which is 19 but we see that 4 has two values of y so 4 has 19 and 38 also 10 has two values of y 10 has 38 and 92 and you have to remember that each input or each value of x is exactly one value of y not two values of y but one why because we see that the values of x are repeating so minus 5 is 19, 4 is both 19 
and 4 is also 38. We have that 5.5 is 61. We know that 10 is 38 and that 10 is also 92. So as you guys can see, 4 has two values of y and 10 also has two values of y. So that means that this one is sadly not a function, right? So this is just a relation, but not a function. And that's pretty much it, guys. The arrow diagrams really help you understand whether it's a function or not, because if you see that one value of x has two y's, then that is not going to be a function. Or you can do what we did right here, and you can write down all the points. And if you see that one point has a value of x and another point has that same value of x, that means that the x's are repeating and that x has more than one value of y, right? It's more visual. But you can either do it directly with the arrow diagrams or you can see it with the points right here. So basically, that's it for today, guys. So I hope you guys understood. Make sure you copy everything and practice a lot. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, everyone. Check out these other videos to improve your math skills. And make sure you click that subscribe button to make the community grow. Follow Omath God in its social media accounts. Drop a like, a comment below, and see you on the next one. Bye.